Now, before we start, I don't want to spend a few moments talking about the importance of identity security and how it's become foundational to every organization's cyber strategy. It almost goes without saying that the shift to remote working during the COVID-19 pandemic, coupled with recent high profile cyber attacks, have made cyber security front of mind. But despite growing risk awareness, decision makers often have different priorities from their cyber experts when it comes to security. And some are not prioritizing incorporating cyber risk into business strategy and often not integrating cyber leaders into business processes. Last May, when hackers hit a major oil pipeline in the US and forced the shutdown of critical multi-regional energy infrastructure, many were shocked to see the targeted company pay almost $5 million in Bitcoin to free its systems. But perhaps more shocking was the fact that this devastating security breach came through a single compromised password. And how about in July 2021, when cyber criminals went after an IT solutions provider, setting off a cascade of ransomware and shutdown attacks around the world? The attacks paralyzed almost 1,500 companies using the provider's products. And in this case, hackers gain access through an authentication bypass on the provider's US web interface. Well, according to a recent PwC Global CEO survey, business leaders are more concerned about a cyber attack undermining their growth than a macroeconomic shock. In fact, 49% of CEOs said cyber attacks was their number one concern. And this makes sense because the World Economic Forum estimates that the cost of cybersecurity breaches on average is $3.6 million per incident. So knowing all that, I think it's really troubling to think that companies need 280 days on average to identify and respond to a cyber attack. That's three quarters of a year. Now with the increase in hybrid and remote working, People and organizations have greater access to data and are sharing that data through widely used application programming interfaces or APIs. And this enables collaboration, it fuels business growth, and of course drives efficiency. But it also comes with risk. Firstly, remote working has led many organizations to move employees from a bring your own device workflow to a bring your own environment. So when the lines between work and personal use are more blurred, cyber criminals have more entry points to exploit. And cyber incidents in a borderless digital ecosystem can cause far reaching effects and pose a bigger damage control challenge. And it's often said that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Well, a company is only as secure as its most vulnerable contact point. Secondly, cyber attacks on organizations in the digital supply chain can impact downstream businesses too. I mean, just think back to 2021 when we saw one of the largest ransomware attacks in history, when a group called R Evil exploited vulnerabilities in a remote monitoring and management software platform. And around 1,500 companies were disrupted as a result. And that included a Swedish grocery chain that was forced to temporarily close more than 800 of its stores. So how can enterprises maintain security while connecting the right people to the right technology? It's an incredibly complex challenge and one that's grown beyond human capabilities in recent years given the explosion of software as a service applications or SaaS, also increased workforce churn and not forgetting the advent of non-human identities. Today's large companies use more than a thousand applications and sometimes support tens or hundreds of thousands of identities. And yet many rely on labor intensive manual processes as the primary means of securing corporate identity information. 
without a single view over everything, or the ability to manage access rights through automation. They are exposed to great risk. However, by harnessing the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning in an identity security offering, companies can connect the right people to the right technology in a way that's secure, agile, and built for the scale of today's enterprise. And over the next two hours on Identity TV, I'm gonna be talking to our experts to find out more and discovering why identity is job zero and how it's fast becoming the foundation of modern cybersecurity strategies. And first up on the programme, we're going to hear about a new vision for identity from Cellpoint's Director of Strategy and Standards, Mike Kaiser. Mm -hmm. 